Hello all, welcome to a session on Python for Machine Learning. In this session and few forthcoming sessions, we will discuss about different control statements available in Python. So before moving to this control statements in Python, let us see what is actually a control statement and why we need such statements in our program. Okay, for that we need to know what is actually control flow in a program. We know we will write a program in Python and the corresponding machine code will be executed by the processor, right? So in which order these statements are taken by the processor for execution? That is actually called control flow. So we will think that the first line written by us will be executed first, then the second line like that, right? In the correct order in which we have written. But that may not be the case always. In some uh, situations, the processor will select statements from our program different from the order in which we are actually written the program okay so whatever may be the order of execution done by the processor that is actually called control flow so the order in which different program statements are executed by the processor that is called control flow and the default one is sequential the way in which we have written the program in the correct order the processor will take the ex uh, different instructions for execution and the second one is non-sequential which is different from the way in which we have written okay so two different control flows are available sequential and non-sequential in the non-sequential again two different control flows are available that is selection and iteration we will see all these three different types of control flow in detail let us start from the first one that is sequential execution that is a default uh, way of execution now let us see an example for the sequential execution. So we are writing a program to find the difference of two numbers. So first statement is assigning a value 10 to a variable a and second statement we are assigning value 8 to variable b and third we are computing the difference between these two variables that is a minus b and the corresponding result is assigned to variable c and finally we are printing the difference of these two variables that is c. Okay. And this statement when execution, definitely it will execute the first statement first and then the second statement and the third then the fourth. That is the different statements are executed in exactly in the same order in which we have written the program. And that is called actually sequential execution. But most of the case, this may not be the case. That is uh, we may have to alter the execution order. That is uh, we may have to choose some particular statement for execution based on some condition or we may have to skip some statements based on some condition or we may, we may have to repeat a set of statements uh, any number of times uh, based on some condition or a particular number of times. So in those cases the order in which we have written the program and the or actual order of execution may be different. How such control uh, flow can be achieved in Python? those we are looking for and those type of uh, order of execution which is different from the order in, in which we have written the program that is called non-sequential execution. So definition is executing in an order which is different from the order in which the program is actually written. Two different types of non-sequential control flows are the one is selection and the second one is iteration. Let us see one by one. In case of selective execution, from the name itself, we can guess that we are selecting something for execution from the set of codes given, right? So we are selecting a block of code for execution based on some condition, yeah. So if that condition is true, we will select a set of statements and if the condition is false, we will, we will simply skip those statements, that is selection. So corresponding flowchart is here. We will check the condition first and if it is true, we have to select a set of statement for execution. So if the condition is true, we are selecting block 1 for execution. After completing the block 1, we will execute statement 2. And if the condition is false, what happens? We will skip the statement directly. We are going to execute statement 2. That is selection. So we will call usually it is a, it as a decision making and branching based on some decision we will branch to some statements that is called selection now let us see how this selection can be achieved in case of python what control statements are available in python to achieve this decision making and branching for that we have a statement if in python 
different types of if implementations are there like simple if if else else if ladder and finally we have the nested if let us see in what scenario these types of different uh, variants of ifs can be used first one is a simple if that is in that case we can explain through this flow chart we are selecting a particular condition and based on that condition if the uh, condition hold it is true we have to say execute a set of statements otherwise simply skip those statements and uh, proceed with the next instruction that is simple if as an example we have here we have a program to print only the positive numbers so input can be any type of number it may be zero or negative or positive only in the case of positive numbers we have to print it so the condition is whether the given number is positive or not and the corresponding code block is print statement okay so if the condition does not hold that means the number is negative or zero in that case we can simply skip the print statement so let us see how it can be uh, written in case of python so here also we are assigning a value directly to the variable otherwise we can uh, take it as input from the keyboard also for simplicity we are assigning the value directly in our program so we are taking a variable to hold the number that is num and we are assigning a value 5 to this num then we are uh, implementing the selective construct that is we are checking whether the number is uh, positive or not for that we have the control statement in python that is if if is the corresponding keyword and we have to write the expression here what condition to be tested that should be written here and then a colon should be put this is the syntax for if statement in python then after that whatever may be we have to execute as the code block for this if statement all should be written in the same intent which is different from the if statements actually the normal control flow the intention is here right and for if the corresponding statement we have to put together in a different intent normally four different white spaces are used for indentation so all the statements which have to be executed if this condition hold that should be written in the same indentation that will be treated as a block here only one statement is there okay so if this condition hold this statement will be executed that is the num is positive like a message will be displayed otherwise what happens that is if the number is negative or zero this statement will be skipped it will not be executed directly the statement will be executed so in our case we are entering a or assigning a positive value right five is assigned so definitely this condition is true so this statement will be executed first after that the next statement that is uh, this is always printed also will be executed so what will be the output for this program five is positive will be executed uh, displayed first then after that this is always printed also will be displayed now let us now let us try to assign some negative value this program so we are assigning number of minus five and we are checking the corresponding uh, program if the number is greater than zero this condition is false now right so what happens this statement will be skipped it will not be executed so directly this statement will be executed in this case our output will be simply this is always printed okay so that is simple if based on some condition we have to execute a group of statements otherwise those should be skipped that's all now the second type of if statement is if else that is we have two possible choices in that case we can use the if else if the condition is true we have to execute one code block otherwise that is if it is false we have to execute some other code block two different possible choices so syntax is like this if then the test expression the brackets are actually optional either we can put the bracket or not no problem we have to write the expression here the test condition that is then colon then after an intent we have to write the corresponding code block that that should be executed in case of the condition is true and then we have another keyword else that is the false part if the condition is false this else part will be executed else is also a keyword with the colon should be put there then we have to write the corresponding code statements which should be executed in case of condition is false let us see the corresponding flowchart we are writing the expression here if it is true we have to execute one code block 
that is body of if and if it is false we have to execute another call block that is body of else after that we have to proceed to the next statement so definitely either body of if or body of else will be executed for sure never the two together right yeah that is uh, if else let us see an example for this if else we have to check whether the number is positive or negative so two different alternatives are there for simplicity we assume that if the zero is also a positive positive number in that case we have two different alternatives either the number is positive such a message should be displayed or the negative uh, number is negative such a message should be displayed okay so here also for simplicity we are assigning a value here directly and the test condition is number greater than or equal to zero that is our condition if it is true number is positive if it is false we have to write the corresponding code statement in the else part number is negative so this is our code so in our case we are assigning a positive value here so this part is actually this condition is true so this will be executed definitely this else part will be skipped it will not be executed so our case the output is 3 is positive that's all okay now let us try with some other negative value or zero value we are assigning a minus 3 here so this condition is false so this part will be skipped directly it moved to else part if it is false means directly this statement the code block under the else part will be executed so in this case the output is minus 3 is negative so if two different alternatives are there we have to use this if else now if there are multiple possible alternatives what can be done for that we have the third type of if that is else if ladder so syntax is like this if then test expression and if it is true the body of if statement is here then elif that is if the first condition is false you have to check for the next condition if it is true the corresponding set of statements like that any number of elements can be there depending on the possible alternatives and finally we have an else that is all the uh, given conditions are false in that case what can be done then body of else is actually uh, optional we can exclude also okay this is a else if ladder and the corresponding flowchart in the simplest form there is only one elif is given any number of elements can be there so here we have the first test condition if it is true the corresponding uh, body of statements will be executed and this will exit the elif ladder and if the condition is false the second condition will be tested corresponding statement is uh, executed if it is true otherwise next statement here the else part if these two conditions are false what should be done the corresponding statements will be executed so only one of these different possible code blocks will be executed any each time right yeah never more than one uh, code blocks in this elif ladder will be executed and that is elif ladder and the main benefit here is that if the first condition is true it will be executed body of if will be executed and all the remaining part of this elif ladder will be simply skipped without checking again so that much efficient is the elif, elif ladder next one is we can see an example for this else if ladder program suppose we have to check if a number is positive negative or zero so we have three possible alternatives right so we can implement using this else if ladder here also we are assigning a simple value positive value to this num and we are checking the for the condition if num greater than zero that is our condition if it is true we have to display it as positive number otherwise the second condition is if the number is equal to zero we have to write it as zero otherwise if these two conditions are false means the number is negative right in that case need not uh, check again definitely it will be negative right so we can write it as else then print negative number so based on the corresponding input to this num variable output will be displayed in our case we are assigning a positive value so this condition itself is true so the statement will be executed positive number will be executed as output all these remaining part of this else if ladder will be simply skipped without is executing okay so after printing this positive number the control flow will be directly moved to the statement immediately 
uh, immediately after this else statement that is the benefit of else if plan let us try with another number another input value we are giving a minus 3 here so what happens the first condition will be tested first yeah it is a false right so this block will be skipped it will go to next elif statement this condition will be tested that's also false so this also will, will be skipped it will move to else part and this will be displayed negative number will be displayed so that is the else if ladder and finally we have the nested if we have multiple conditions to be satisfied for a particular group of statement itself then we can use this nested if that is we have to check one condition if it is true again another condition is to be tested that also true we have to execute a set of statements so this nesting that is uh, an if within another if or else within another if like that it the staining can be uh, made to any depth that is nested if so we can write an example for that we have to check if a number is positive negative or zero using this nested if also if i already implemented using this else if ladder right the same thing we can implement using this nested if also so here we can see how this actually implemented here we are taking the input from keyboard we are taking a value value using this input function and that is converted into floating point number and that will be assigned to the num variable num and the first condition is if num greater than or equal to zero both conditions are tried together here within that if so two possibilities are there right either the number is greater than zero or equal to zero in both case this is true so within that if again we are splitting into two if the number equal to zero that we have to print it as zero otherwise the else part the positive number it will be positive right so that is nesting of if and the else part this is outer else that means this condition is false we have the else here in that case what happens this condition is false means the number is negative we can give the corresponding message here okay so the inner else means what's the meaning of inner else this condition is wrong right this condition is false but this condition is true that is why we are moving to inner else that means the number is not equal to zero but it is greater than zero right so obviously the number is positive number like that by using or by giving proper indentation we can nesting we can have this nesting of if or else any number of times to any depth that is nested if so output in this case if you are giving a positive number what happens this condition will be true right it will come into this if inner if again this will be tested no it's uh, not uh, correct right it's false so it will move to this else part and this will be printed now suppose uh, so positive number will be printed now suppose we are giving another input minus 5 what happens it will check this condition this is false so what happens the else part for this outer if it will come here and it, this will be printed negative number so this is how different ifs can be used to implement the selective control statement in python so as an exercise you can try these two find the overall grade of a student given the marks in three different subjects using else if ladder so in that case we have to take three input three marks okay three subject marks add it together to find the average then you have to decide the grading scheme like uh, maybe nine to 9 to 10 or 90 percentage to 10 100 percentage it is a grade o or s like that you can give a grading system and based on your grading system you have to display the final grade overall grade of the student that is the first exercise and the second one is find the largest among three numbers using nested if you are given three different numbers you have to find out the largest among these three different numbers using nested if scheme so these are the two different uh, exercises. Thank you.